Good morning, people. We uh, back here today. I uh, ordered the parts. I got the rear control arms. I got new rotors. I got the uh, handbrake cable. And then, uh, what else did I get? Uh, I got the torque box reinforcement plates. So today, don't know how much I'll get done. Uh, I'm probably going to put the plates in because they got to go in before the rear control arms. And then we'll see how far we get. But from what I've looked up, them plates are kind of a pain in the ass to put in. So we're going to drill some holes and then I'll do some welding on the torque boxes themselves. But also, before I do any of that, whenever I pulled out the rear end, I noticed that uh, this seal right here is leaking. So, therefore, underside of the car, you can't quite see it because I don't have light on yet, but the upper side of the car where the torque boxes are is uh, covered in oil. So I'm going to have to get the oil off and I got to do that without a pressure washer because that would be so much easier, but it's in the garage. It's going to make a mess. So I'm on spray it down with degreaser and just kind of wipe it off and then I'll get the paint off. So let's get started. All right. So I got, I got it pretty much well cleaned up where I need to weld at. There's some of that other stuff that just gunks in the way but everywhere that i cleaned i should be able to weld on i mean i still have to hit it with a wire wheel but for right now i'm going to go up under here and we're going to start putting these plates in so i could weld the plates in with it yeah these are the plates and uh basically they're going to go inside the torque box and then the other plate will go right here and then one plate will go over here we got to get the sound detonant off too so we'll get started on that Looks like inside the car. These plates are gonna go roughly like that. Looks like I misdrilled one of the holes. But I'm gonna remove the sound detonant where these plates are supposed to go. And then we will be back in a second. Alright, so we got the plates in. Bolt there, bolt there, same on the other side. Bolt there, bolt there. Now inside the car, you might have to shimmy them out a little bit. I didn't do that because it was just a lot of noise and kept knocking the camera over. So now we have to drill out this hole and this hole. Somebody's got to be in the car to hold the plate down. But don't do it with your hands or your foot. Use something to pry on it. So we're going to drill those out and then try to see if the bolts will go through that way. And we got to probably pull the plate out and finish drilling the holes with the plate out of the car.
on both sides on both sides we got all four of the bolts in like again you know, on the top you got to drill and wiggle and drill and wiggle uh, to get those bottom holes drill go ahead and snug the tops up drill all the way through the frame with these you got to have somebody inside kind of pushing on the plate mark you some spots on the inside plate and then you'll have to pull the plate out of the car and drill the holes but we got those in and then once you get them in should look roughly like that like that right there so now we're going to start with these go these go over this hole right here it's going to sit something like that like that what we're going to say but but we have to go under here in the lower torque box and we're going to have to shave grind this section right here out basically there's this edge it's going to have to come out so I'm going to grab the grinder and uh, if you have ABS you'll have to pop this out this tucks up it tucks up in that hole right there so if if you got ABS you'll have to pull that out you can't run ABS unless you drill a hole in the plate so we're going to get to grinding that and we'll be back in a minute Once you get the bolt in, just drill your four holes. Now we gotta go inside the car.
right, I went ahead and did all that on the other side too. So that's what it should look like. The bolts should slide in. Uh, you could put the bolts in through the bottom or you can drop them through the top. Uh, the instructions say to drop them, drop the bolt through the top right here. But it's going to be a pain in the ass to get the nuts on it under the car in that tiny little box. So I'm going to have the bolts coming up through the bottom of the car and then put the nuts on on the inside because I mean the other bolts right here are coming up into the car so just make it look all the same so we'll do that and then uh, probably go ahead and get this cleaned up and uh, go under the car get it cleaned up ready for some tack welds might weld it today I might wait I don't know but we're gonna get these bolted in and see where we stand on that. All right, we got the, the bolts in, real simple. Just stick them up in there. Have somebody put the nuts on the top. I went ahead and put washers on them, just in case. But, uh, all right, well, we got the plates in and got all those in. Uh, I also got Uh, these bars right here and then the rear control arms uh, not gonna have enough time to do that today so probably gonna wrap it up here and then uh, next time we'll uh, weld these boxes and then we will go ahead and hopefully be able to put the rear